We're from Cosmos and De Beer Games, and we're going to tell you all of the exciting stuff that's going to be at UK Games Expo this year. Hi, I'm Vicky, and this is Libby, and we are from Cosmos, and we're here to tell you about all the exciting things coming from Cosmos and De Beer at the UK Games Expo. We are going to start off with Nun Attack. Um, Temple of Ice, so this is brand new launching at the show and we're going to be building up an ice temple in this amazing little game. In this one you really are combining where you're placing to score best but also how you're best going to build up a nice set collection between all the different types of cards and you get some special action cards that give you some extra little bonuses either during the game or at the end of the game as well. And of course everyone's going to want to put the top of that temple on at the end of the game. We also have two new exits that are going to be released at the UK Games Expo. We have the Magical Academy, which is for all of you uh, fans. That is a quite a simple game. Uh, we also have uh, Prison Break, which is our first ever kind of team exit game. So you can play either as like two player or as two teams. So it's got two decoders and you're basically trying to escape from prison. Uh, it's really tricky. People have been asking us for a long time to get some more difficult exits out there and this one is going to be super super tricky be good fun though yeah i'm excited for having two different decoders and yeah. being on a vying teams of course if you love our exit series which we know so many of you do there is a new series coming masters of crime this one starts with vendetta which will be available at the games expo um, and there will be more to come from this series this one is channeling as you can see it's got those sort of godfather vibes to it and I think if you really enjoy solving puzzles, maybe solving a murder, and and it's kind of got a little bit of the point and click kind of styling to it, as well as the sort of exit styling, um, then this really combines those well. It's a nice evening group activity. You can sit around the, the table and, and work out what's happened here and who's done it and how and when all of those classic detective things going on so so it's a little bit different in terms of how you interact with the game it's not just bits of card bits of paper there's going to be some more interactive things going on which makes it a little bit more fun yeah yeah one of the other games we've got coming up at the games expo is bell ratty we will have a very limited stock of these so make sure that you get them uh, early if you if you want to have one these are a game where you are trying to sneak your forgeries while well, you're either trying to sneak your forgeries into the museum or you're trying to be one of the muse museum directors who will be figuring out if it's a forgery or not the artwork on this is beautiful it's really really nice it's super retro um lots to look at and it's just a really fun party game um it's for three to seven players as well which is really nice if you've got a large group that you like to play with good filler it only takes about 25 minutes so uh, yeah, a really nice, interesting, fun party game. We will have a few things that have previously released as well that will be there demoing. You can come and play on the tables at the stand. One of which is Dragon Keepers, a really gorgeous family game um, where you're playing down cards and you're, you're limited to what you can play when and you need to change the book and different cards. There's some special tokens and we will also have a promo on the stand for this so you can add some extra special tokens to the game when you buy it with us here um so if you're interested in cute island cattle dragons like most of us are absolutely then come check this one out if you haven't seen it already it's a really lovely family game really good fun uh we also going to have on our kind of family table we're going to have kids uh, exit we call it amongst the bill uh normally we don't like show the exits expos and things but this is a replayable game so there's plenty of play in this we've got jungle of riddles uh but this one is one that's just come out fairly recently it's age five plus it takes about 20 minutes or so uh, it's, it's just it's a really nice easy family game and your kids are going to love it and it's a good way of getting them into the whole exit series as well exactly because a lot of the other ones the sort of entry level of our standard adult exits start around eight years so it's really good to catch those middle years and then end them into games like enchanted forest things like that maybe magical academy if they're into yeah. good. Wow. 
<laughs> Another thing that we're going to have on our stand, which is a little bit different, is um, Gecko Run. It's a marble run, and we think that it is right up the street of some of our gamers, even though it's not technically a game. It's a marble run, but it's a vertical marble run, so it doesn't take up too much space. And we're going to have a big wall panel where you can come along and rearrange it, create your own marble run, see how well you can get it to do. And what's so fun about this is that the gecko pads that stick it onto the walls are actually nanotechnology. So you could just pull them off, stick them back on, reposition. And that is some of the fun of this. It's the puzzle of putting together a great run that it really works and having to tweak those angles and work out the speed of the marble and the angles and things to get something that runs and that's the the puzzle that we think that gamers are going to really enjoy as much as an actual board game the other unusual thing that we have is a little game it's called pug tarot and if you like dogs this is for you if you like tarot this is for you if you like things that you can give us good gifts this is for you. Yeah, it's actually just really, really good fun. So we, we we saw it and we thought, you know what? We've just got to have this on our stand because loads of people are going to love it. Um, so it's got a little book in it. The artwork is fantastic. And I'm sure it'll be a, a firm favourite with many of you. Yeah, great for gifting. Yeah. Now, of course, it's not just Cosmos games that we have on our stand. We also distribute for Devia and they are pumping out some great hits for more games on than my fire. Oh, they just in and out the hotness. <laughs> Every yeah. game they bring out. Brilliant. So, of course, we're going to be having a table with the White Castle. Um, they're demoing that you can come along and play with one of the guys from De Beer. I mean, it's, yeah, as you say, it's been all over the BGG hotness. Um, a fantastic game. And you may have just heard the really exciting announcement that there's going to be an expansion, Matcha, where you're going to have more dice and a tea ceremony yes. and all this kind of stuff. That's going to be coming out at Essen. So we won't have that here at UK Games Expo. But of course, the guys from De Beer are there if you have questions about what that might entail. And we'll see how cagey they are <laughs> about that. Um, but certainly, um, we're very excited uh, to, to have matcha coming to the collection and we absolutely adore playing white castle um in the office we do we love it um other tables from devere is also going to be salt and sea which just recently released this one here um which is a really a really tight euro game quite economic and you are mining in the salt and sea in california trying to turn your brine into uh lithium neothermal energy or lithium yeah. depending on what your aiming to do um and you've got sort of currencies and different actions so there's loads loads going on in that one so a relatively heavy-ish game so if you want to have a, a closer look and get taught by one of the guys from devere then do come along and do that one of the other games we're going to be showing on the devere's tables uh, is sun which is uh, going to be launching that week yes. it's going to be really exciting it is it's set in the kombucha service so the same as bitoku and silk um and joke i sketch and there's a few little things in there that you might actually recognize some of the silkworms um from silk seem to have made it into the future i've got a little bit bigger for the say they are now like kind of caterpillars that you can actually ride um so this is a really nice little pick up and deliver game where you are in a desert you're trying to go from town to town um you're trying to upgrade your actions you're upgrading your caterpillars to make them bigger and bigger and better um it just looks like a really nice let's hit the uh hit up this again this week already um mm -hmm. and we're really looking forward to having it on the stand uh and get to play it probably even just to play it properly yeah, have we oh that'll be this week in time for the launch absolutely and really looking yeah. forward to that so, okay. also on the devere tables will be cities which we're super excited about it's a new game by Full Walker Harding and Steve Finn. It looks really, really nice. It's got lots of little tiles. You're trying to be building the city the best way that you can um, and putting it all together. It just it just looks like it's a nice, easy, chilled out game that you can play with your family. Yeah, it looks quite family weight yeah. to me. So far, we uh, won't get excited of this until the first day of UK Games yeah. Expo. So as exciting for us as it is for you, I'm sure. Um, but it looks like you can go all around the world. Barcelona, London, Sydney, Rio de Janeiro, you know, wherever you want to go in these different cities and you can build out these different districts some slightly taller buildings than others or come out into some beachy areas, especially if you're in Rio. <laughs> um, so yeah, super excited about what kind of puzzle that's going to be, but I think it's going to be a nice family weight game. Yeah. So we're also going to have on the shelf Rock Hard 1977. This isn't going to be available to play, but you can have a 
good look at all the components there. It's a game designed by Jackie Fox, who was part of The Runaways, one of the first all-female rock bands. So we're going to have a lot of fun being an inspiring rock band. You can guess the theme here, and we're going out doing gigs and going to after parties who are back getting our amps up to 11. Um, the components look fantastic and you will get a chance to have a closer look at that. But as I say, you won't be able to play it yet. It will be launching later in the summer for Gen Con. So you'll hear more and more about that game coming up. But that's, yeah, that's the, um, loads of stuff that we've got coming from Cosmos and Devere. So do make sure you see us on the stand 1602. That's right. If you're new to the channel, you can find us in various different places, not just here, but we're also going to be on Instagram and on X, TikTok, all those sort of places. For games, you're looking at Cosmos Games UK, and for the more science side of things, you're looking at Thames and Cosmos UK. So do feel free to follow whatever you'd like to do uh, to get more information on us. We are happy to provide loads of information and we are happy to answer any questions. Yeah, and we'd love to hear what you're excited for for UK Games Expo. So do put a note in the comments to us and let us know which one you're most excited to come and play at the show. Yeah. For now, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.